And so, so maybe, maybe uh, one one last information for for this this uh, this talk, and uh, so so. So so let me let me consider something which is called Hamiltonian circuit. And so so this is kinda kinda nice nice thing because um, it is some kind of, of dual problem, dual definition, dual problem to to Eulerian tour. So um, the um, like Eulerian tour is some kind of, of closed walk which is using every edge exactly once. So we would like to construct some another walk which is using ex every vertex exactly once. Closed closed tour using every Vertex exactly once, and so so let me let me give you give you some some kind of example. For example, some kind of small graph if we consider cube like this, the, the platonic uh, body, uh, and so um, so so the, the, uh, let me consider consider this. So we can start, for example, in this vertex, and we can go uh, like this. And this is Hamiltonian circuit in the in the graph. And of course, the the main question is which which graph admit Hamiltonian circuit? And the question is uh, much much more difficult in in this case. But let me let me give you original example of, of Hamilton. This is was some kind of, of puzzle puzzle, and it it considers um, um, graph which is called uh, dodecahedron. Uh, so, so this is this is some kind of, of uh, like a graph which which has uh, which is um, representing some some kind of of polyeder, uh, regular polyeder which has uh, twelve faces and each face is of uh, is some some um, five gone. So it's um, something like this. So, so we can we can draw it pretty pretty nicely. I hope I will I will mess it up. Um, So yeah, so we have ah uh, sorry sorry this this is here yeah and then we have. Another five vertices here inside. Yeah, so so the graph looks looks like this, and we can see that it's, it's regular to the dodecahedron. So mm, so what we we can construct a Hamiltonian path path here also. For example, what we can do, we can start here. It doesn't matter actually because the graph is like pretty pretty much symmetric, and then we can go like this around the graph uh, sorry. and we have oil Hamiltonian path so so this this graph admits Hamiltonian path but um, let me let me show you that not not every graph admits a Hamiltonian path. So let me let me give you some some kind of, of example. So so for example for example this this graph here does not does not have Hamiltonian Hamiltonian cycle because again we can go like around but we can never never take this this vertex or if we take this vertex and we we cannot take 
some other vertices here. For, for this, uh, this, gra this graph, it's, it's uh, kind of uh, simple to prove it. But the main problem is that it's for uh, it's hard to, to somehow efficiently. It is hard to efficiently decide of existence of Hamiltonian circuit. Yeah. So, so if if I give you some some kind of huge graph with let's say 100 or 1000 vertices, it is quite difficult to show me that there is no Hamiltonian circuit. Of course, if, if there is a Hamiltonian circuit, you have you have it uh, very simple. You just need to find it and, and show it. Yeah. So so if answer is yes, then you you can show it. But how how to show? There is uh, there is no um, there is no Hamiltonian circuit, and in the, in the previous case it was it was very simple because what we could just do was was to 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 show that that vertices of of, um, of odd degree are are um, wrong that they cannot appear in the graph and then we were able to prove a general theorem of existence, but the thing is how to do with Hamiltonian circuit and I cannot give you any any good answer, and not because because uh, I don't know it or, or people don't know it, but but probably, probably, it is not possible. And um, this is this is some kind of some kind of um, of more and more difficult thing which which we could we could talk about later, but the. The thing is that to decide for, for a graph whether it has Hamiltonian circuit is a problem which is called MP MP complete, which is problems which which everyone believes that they are very hard, not possible to solve efficiently using some efficient program or efficient proof. Yeah, but no one was able to prove it, and it's quite quite uh, important and open problem for for uh, say uh, about hundred years. Uh, so, so these these things it does not mean uh, non-polynomial solvable, but it means non-deterministically polynomial. And what does it mean? If the answer is yes, then you can you can guess the answer and check it efficiently. So, if someone gives you correct answer, you can easily say, okay, yes, you're right. This is this is the correct answer. And the problem with with uh, MP complete problems um, is that there is there is possibly no efficient way how to how to show show the opposite result oh, and of course um, like uh, no one knows these these things uh, about but but maybe like uh, I think I think it's it's kind of kind of understandable that if solution exists it's much simpler to to uh, to find it to show it but that if there is no solution you have to give some some kind of, of elaborated proof that there is no solution and then the question of of this type is is much harder yeah so so. Let me let me conclude with this. Um, I think I think it's, it's kind of nice that you can have like thing which is very similar to Euler tours, which were simple, but in fact it's it's much much more difficult. And if if you if you could solve a Hamiltonian circuit fast enough, you could you could solve almost uh, almost any problem or um, a lot of problems people are dealing dealing nowadays. Uh, probably probably if the word uh, word is somewhere fair, you never never will be able to solve Hamiltonian circuit. Fast. Yeah, so, so these these things are, are mathematics quite common that you have two things which which on the surface they seem very similar, but in fact they are completely different. And they, they one one is simple and the other one is is difficult to to work with. And maybe maybe this is this is something which which makes mathematics so beautiful. Okay, so so thanks for for listening and. See you, see you next time. And maybe we could next time we could we could we could uh, go and again explain why why these uh, these graph terms have so so weird weird names. Uh, because 
y y vertices and edges. What, what does it have um, in common with, with the graphs in graphs in, in general? Why 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 are they called called like like this? And and the reason is historical. So so maybe we are going to to speak about how how these these terms were are created. Okay. So thanks thanks for watching and listening and hopefully you learned something and don't forget about about the exercise. Um, about uh, KJ's joint Hamiltonian tours, or Hamiltonian walks. Oh, okay. See you next time.